Hello and welcome back to the. Hello and welcome to our first blind the blind the screams. Hello and welcome to our first behind the scenes episode. Today I'll talk about the ever evolving process that I use to create the content for this channel, including the mostly open source software stack used for planning, production, and editing. In addition, I'll show you the install and usage of my newly minted Clapper script for OBS Studio that you too can use to ease the video production process. So stick close by as we go behind the curtain and probably off script to show you how the video sausage is made here at Yup Productions. Still here? Okay. Stay with me to the end of this video for a special announcement about our future plans. And if you haven't already, please feed that YouTube algorithm by dropping a like and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Once we get to 500 subscribers, YouTube will open up the community tab and allowing for polls and blog posts and other fun features that enhance the viewer experience. So it should go without saying, but before we can start writing a script, laying out shots, and collecting images or stock footage, we have to have some cre content already created that we want to show off. For this series, I built the Yup5108 8-bit microcontroller using Logisim Evolution, and I'm using a dual monitor setup to capture the full screen content using OBS Studio. As shown in the previous scene, OBS is used to capture my on-screen shots with a green background to allow for easier compositing later. If you check out our earlier videos done on Twitch live stream of Kerbal Space Program and Simple Rockets 2, you'll see a lot of the time was spent fumbling around controlling the overlays within OBS and other content while trying to not forget what it was I wanted to talk about. So we have the content from Logisim and a way to do the screen recordings with OBS Studio. Now we just need a way to edit and combine the various video layers and for that I use Shotcut. While these tools are powerful, they're not super user friendly and have a bit of a learning curve to operate effectively. They do have the benefit of being free and uh, in addition to their large user base means that there are lots and lots of tips and tricks, blog posts and instructional vid videos on YouTube uh, to help guide you. That's pretty much what I did. Learned it all through other YouTube videos. Along with these primary production tools, there is also a collection of smaller utility programs such as GreenShot for taking screenshots of all or part of a screen or a window. I also use GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program for image editing and combining of screenshots and or stock imagery found on Wikicommons, Emojipedia, or as a last result, Shutterstock. Notepad++ is used for the editing of text files and with its extensive syntax highlighting, it makes it much easier for source code editing in almost any language. Uh, it was also used to write the Clapper script itself. For more extensive word processing, such as writing this script, doing spreadsheets, or producing presentations, I'll use OpenOffice, the Microsoft Office freeware alternative. Another utility program that does cost a little bit of money, but is well worth it, is QI Press. QI Press highlights the location of your mouse cursor and can show mouse button and key presses on screen so that viewers can follow along. Lastly, I wanted to show off my newly minted Clapper script for OBS Studio. Not only does the Clapper script show the Clapper on screen, but it also writes all the Clapper information to a data file located next to the video output file and named after it. This makes finding the right take for a given shot and scene a simple matter of copying the timestamp from the data file into the Shotcut editor. The Clapper script and the underlying Clapper video that you're seeing are available on our Patreon page for free should you want to add it to your video production workflow. To install the Clapper script, first copy the LUA file to a location you'll remember and then open up OBS, select Tools, Script from the main menu. In the Scripts dialog, Click on the plus button, then navigate to the script location and select it. Once loaded, you have to select the text source that you want the information to appear in. In my case, the text source and the clapper video are grouped together, and I've set the hotkey to show or hide the group to the escape button. 
Obviously, this could be just about any other key, but the location of the escape button on my keyboard makes it hard to hit on accident. And the escape button is not used by most of the other software. Hitting the escape button brings up the clapper video and activates the clap text text source to appear, which triggers the script to update the information in the text box. The time code runs up until the clapper falls, at which point it freezes. The save keeper button is also tied to a hotkey, and that marks the previous clapper record as a quote keeper, meaning that that's the take that should be used in the final edit. Each time the clapper script is invoked, it automatically increments the take number so you can try to get several takes without having to open up the scripts dialog over and over again. With the clapper data file and the original source video, it should be possible to automate the process of throwing away all the unneeded takes to create a first cut video that would only need minor manual editing to finish up. Well, that's about all I had for this first behind the scenes video. Let me know down in the comments if you try out this clapper script in your OBS productions. And if you'd like to see a video about uh, the Lua language or writing scripts for OBS in general. Remember to please share this video, like and subscribe if you haven't already, so we can reach that 500 subscription limit needed by YouTube to open up that community page. If we get to 512 plus subscribers, we'll do another $100 value giveaway. Thanks for watching.